Hi everyone, I'm Beth. For everyone that has not been here before, thank you for coming and watching my videos. For all of y'all that have been here many times before, thank you for coming back. This is going to be the second Timu uh, mold, almost all Timu molds. Some of them came from a couple of other places, but the majority of them are Timu molds. I lost part of my first video, so there may be some duplications because I wasn't quite sure where I stopped um, from the other one. And if there are, just fast forward through those. Um, and oh, I got exciting news. I've got three orders coming. <laughs> I got three orders coming in from Timu today. And um, I've got... Uh, my epoxy resin is coming in today too. And my respirator already came in. Uh, so my next video will probably not be a mold video. It will probably be me wearing full gear, respirator, goggles, gloves, <laughs> uh, doing epoxy resin for the very first time. Um, that's what I plan on my next video. And the subscribers, I don't know what y'all are doing and I know it's you, but you know, I'm just putting the videos out there, but if y'all don't watch and subscribe and share, uh, they can just sit there. And that like button is real important, that like button. <laughs> uh, but whatever y'all are doing, thank you so much, because my subscribers are just jumping right now. And it's y'all. It, it's strictly y'all doing that. And, and I know that, and I am so thankful and so grateful. Um... We're almost at the 650, and when we hit that 650, we're doing a giveaway. And for some reason, if it jumps really quick and I end up getting almost to 700, it'll just be a bigger giveaway. Um, I'm excited. I really am. And um, it's a lot of fun, and I enjoy doing this, you know. Th this is so, this is just so much fun to me. Um, yes, I talk. I am a talker. I can't help it, and I don't do anything fast. Even if when I try to do it fast, it just, you know, it doesn't work out when I try to do it fast. So, you know, I am who I am. I'm just me. <laughs> We're gonna get started. <laughs> I still have so many. And I, y'all, I ordered more. I did, I ordered more modes yesterday, and I know I have, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I think, see, I don't, I know that I did these, but I don't know if it's part of the lost part where I had to cut it off. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just going to redo it again because I really like this mold. And I did remember to get a sheet. I don't know. Oh, I'm inside today also. I'm not outside because we did get our air fixed. Um, and the unit is running and I don't want to turn it off and I know y'all don't like the sound. So until I get, I'm, I'm going to redo my porch because I love being outside. And, and so I'm going to change the table and put it over on this side of the porch, which you'll probably still hear the air conditioner some, but you won't be sitting right on top of it. What you'll hear is the pull, but I guess that's a more soothing sound anyway than the, the noise of the air conditioner. Um, and I plan on doing that in a couple of days. We're having a yard sale um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, which is tomorrow. This is Wednesday. And and we're gonna do it three days. And we're just doing it out in the front yard. Um, and I may film a little bit of that too and um, do a video on our yard sale and, and show y'all that too. Um, Okay, I'm getting off topic again. <clears throat> and this is a Timu haul. Uh, no, it's not a Timu haul. It's a Timu mold. See, I have so many things in my brain right now. And it, it does have... It does have design in some of the, the crosses. Some are, are just solid, but... I don't know if y'all can see that. That is Zion. Can you hear him? He, he meows like that all the time. <clears throat> and 
And I, I know I've done some of these, but I don't know if it's on the video. This is another one. It's like a half hoops. This is for earrings. I've showed y'all this before, but I'm gonna show you again. That's a snake. I've not done that before. A lot of these are okay. I hope I showed you all this before, but I'm not gonna bypass this. I have two of them, okay? The same, the same molds. And I don't need, I don't need three. And so I have another one just like it, still in the package. That's another card to give away. That's going to be in the mystery box, and that's going to be part of the giveaway. <clears throat> and I know I showed this before, too, but I don't know if it made it in the video. I guess I should have probably watched the video <clears throat> again. But that's that one. Which I love the designs, but they're huge. Key rings, I guess. And this is just a small little one with a different design. And y'all may have already seen these, so I'm going to just rush through them real quick. These are your bookmarks. I haven't tried those yet either. And these are more of the, the little island. I have pieces of those things. That's more of the island ones. And that's just some rectangle ones, which works really well with key rings or necklaces or even earrings. <coughs> And another thing you can do with this is make little, like little uh, word charms. Uh, like, you know, you can buy them, but you can make your own too if you can get a... Like the Dollar Tree does have those stickers, those ribbon stickers. And y'all can use those ribbon stickers on resin. That they will rub off. And then you just coat them again. I've done with UV resin. Uh, I'm going to try them with the uh, Let's Resin 10-Minute Cure of the White and see how that works. But little modes like this are great. They're just what I call staple modes, where they have so many uses. Okay. <clears throat> and I know you've seen the Dragon Mold because somebody remarked on that. And I know you've seen the Gnome Mold. There's another one, but I know you all have seen those. I do remember those from the videos. I do not remember if you saw that, the rose. I haven't poured this. I, I haven't poured the majority of these. Some of these, yeah, here's another no mold, and I think y'all have seen all those. That's why I'm hurrying through. And I think y'all saw the panda mold too. I think you saw this one too, but I'm not sure because I don't know what got cut off. And that's just another dragon mold. I will probably, I don't like these dragon molds, okay? But somebody else said that um, they bought one. And, and I need to know if theirs turned out because I've got an extra one and I can throw that in with a giveaway too. Another no mold. Little birds. Teddy bear. I think I showed those. Fairy doors. I'm rushing through what I think I've already showed y'all. The owl. I know I showed those. The bumblebees. These work really well with polymer clay, too. Most of those do work with polymer clay. I can't get the colored ones to work with UV resin, even doing really thin layers. 
uh, and some of y'all have said that it works for y'all. So I don't know, but I've tried and I spend way too much. When it takes me two hours to do something this small with UV resin to me, that just seems uh, uh, too much time being spent on one item. So I just don't do that. Okay, now what's in here? Oh, wow, I have two of these. Okay, I have not poured this, and it, and I may throw one of these in. I don't know if they're any good because I've not poured it, but I have two of them, and it's the elephant. I have two of those. Trunk down, though. Well, no, it's actually coming up, so that's always good. I've got a trunk down elephant coming, and I don't know why I ordered that because I don't normally like trunk down anything. This is a really cheap looking. I don't know. It might work for resin, but it's real thin, and the detail's not good, and that did come off of Timu. That is not a good model, guys. I've not tried it. But I can tell you right now by looking at it, the quality is just not there. There's another one. It was not what I was hoping for either. Let's see. Can you see better that way? That's a motorcycle. A heart with a lock, the key, and a crown. Okay. Some of this I know I showed in the other one, but I'm going to redo it because I'm not, and I'm just going to go through it fast, okay? That one right there. That's a really cool mold. It's thin, but it's cool. I know I've showed you these, but these are, and this is all Timu. Those are the Christmas ornament bulbs. And these are the ugly purses that are too big. I thought they were going to be smaller. I was going to use them for earrings. I don't know what you would use those for. Maybe key rings, maybe. <clears throat> this is what I call forest animals, but then I saw the little pig. And what looks like a cat. So, I'm going to have to try that one and see. This is, I think, Lily's. I think I did all these. I think. I have a bunch in the box over there, though, though that I know I did. The Geico. Gecko. Gecko? Is it Gecko? <laughs> Geico. <laughs> ah, lizard. Let's just say lizard. Feathers. This is real thin, but it's still... Yeah, it's still very doable. Either in resin or polymer clay. It's another one of those island. I know I'm rushing. Oh, this one I really like. I don't know if I showed it to you or not, but I'm gonna show it to you again. I haven't done that one, but I want to. The wings. You do butterflies. There's so much you could do with that one. More bees. Bats. I don't know what these are, and I don't know why I bought it. This is a sword. I did not like it. It's a teamy mouth. Most of these are Timu. If I know for sure I didn't get it off of Timu, I'll let you know. It's a little uh, female bear with the bathing suit on the, the life buoy. Oh, I think I showed this to you, but I'm, I'm excited about doing this. The little spear. That came in a kit, I think. It didn't come individual, it came with a kit.
these are funny looking bugs. This just gives you some kind of idea on the size. This is cool. I'm gonna try this with the resin. It didn't work with the UV resin for me. It, it just didn't cure for some reason, which it should have with this mold, but it didn't. And I used J. Diction uh, UV resin. Okay. Oh, this is a cool one too, and I think I showed that to you too. I'm gonna use the paper. I've never used that one either. But I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna keep the ones I want to try that I've never poured before out. Okay. I think y'all have seen those. Those are the, the little uh, Zodiac molds. Can you see them? Yeah. Okay. This is, <laughs> it's an ice cube tray. I got it big lots. And that's Baby Yoda. And that's what I made the magnets and the, the foam pops. That's the two designs. I did that with a marker, uh, I made a uh, permanent marker, Sharpie. So I could see which design was which. This is a, a gear for steam pot, but it's not a good mold. I don't know, I might be fine with resin. Uh, UV resin, it does not do good. I've tried. So, and it definitely does not work with polymer clay. It just, it, it would not work. Some of the molds that you get, you really have to look at the picture. Well, and sometimes the picture doesn't isn't what you're getting either. I've never done this one either. Oh, this is cute. Now, the seat, a mold like sorry, a mold like this, I would think would be good to make a bunch of them up and use within other resin projects. Can y'all see that? Little dragonflies. Little tiny mushrooms, little bees, little ladybugs with the gnomes and the mushrooms down there. I would think that would be a good one to, to use uh, inside other projects. This sort of shows you how big that is because these things are not real big at all. if y'all saw that or not. But you see, these things would be really cool if you were doing like a picture frame or you were doing mixed media with on a canvas. You could use those for the corners. There's different ones. See, this to me would be another staple mold right there. Oh, uh, I think, oh. Can y'all see that? That's real. Turtle mode. That's the better one. I've got some, ch I did not get this off of Timu. Uh, this came off of Etsy. A uh, shop at um, Etsy, I think Sea Salt was the, I don't know, it may not have been, because normally Sea Salt puts their uh, logos. But it was a, it was, it came from Etsy, not Timu. But I do have some from Timu, but they are not as good quality. And if I come to them, I'll show you. I may have already showed them to you on the, the other one. This is just a basic heart. This is another sort of staple mold, all different size hearts. And they're rounded, they're domed. They're not flat hearts. This is a Timu. I think I showed this to you <clears throat> yesterday. I think this is a fox. I've not poured that either. 
but I think that's a fox. But I can't figure out what that is. Is that like a mushroom? I can't. Oh, no, that's a fish. That's a fish bone. So is that supposed to be a cat? Is that a cat with a fish bone? See, I don't know. I'm going to have to pour it now to see. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's like a fish bone. A fish with a bone of a fish. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, okay. Oh, there's still so many of them. This is just the smaller ones. I don't know what you'd use that for. I like the leaves. And I like the reef. I just don't know. I don't know what I would use that for. Ooh. Oh, maybe in a coaster to decorate? No, let's see. It's too big for that. It's too big to go in that. I don't know. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. Because it's pretty detailed. Ah, key ring, maybe? More leaves. I got a bunch of leaves. I do, I love doing autumn stuff. And I use alcohol ink and I use the soft pastels that I take my X-Acto knife and chisel down into powder. And I love, uh, I love using that and alcohol inks on uh, the leaves. It, it just gives you a really natural look. Here's more leaves. And I can show you a bunch of jewelry that I did last year that I still have. Uh, that's autumn stuff that I use the leaves and the, the pastel and the alcohol inks on. <clears throat> and this is one of those textured things again. To get the texture of the leaves. I did not get this off of, I got this at Walmart, believe it or not, in their cake section. Their fondant area, Wilton, uh, you can find stuff like that and that way you can put clay in there and get that leaf texture. Even when it's a smaller leaf you can still use it and you just put it in there and you, you smush it and it gives you a great textured leaf. And these are pine trees, which I like to use on mixed media. I like to do stuff on canvas, and, and eventually I will get around to doing a video on that, too. I just do so many different things, and I'm adding to it by adding resin to it now that... Uh, I could probably do five... I could probably do five videos a day. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Uh, but there's, I, I have enough stuff. I should do a video of my craft closet. You can't even tell what's in there. It's so stuffed in there. And I clean it out at least once a month. Okay, I have this bag. I know y'all haven't seen these. These are in a container that I didn't pull out. I've never poured this, but I think this would be a cool one to pour. See the detail on that? That is a cool mold right there. A lot of these did not come from Timu. These are molds that I've had, and they did not come from Timo. You see that mold right there? That's a cool mold. You see the, you see how it has the little um, Phillips head and flat head screw tops? That's a cool, that is a cool thing to have, believe it or not. I've used it many times. Uh, I've never poured those. And those are like those hinges those are cool. There's so many things you could do with that because that looks like real size hinges. 
That's cool right there. And this is another cool mold. It's just like watch band. But you can uh, you can do this where well, you can do this part with the resin, the actual band. Uh, but it's great for polymer clay because you can make watch bands because polymer clay is bendable. Oh goodness, I don't know what that is. I'm trying to turn it in, inside out to see if I can figure out what it is, but I don't know what it is. I have no idea what that mold is. If anybody has a clue, if they can tell by looking at it that way, <laughs> let me know. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to pour it now just to see. That's a bubble mold. Okay, I can see that being pretty cool. Yeah, I can see using that. I can see pouring that and resin and then adding it into a coaster. Oh, wow, this opens up. Okay, I'm going to have to try that. Can you see it? Mermaid tail. What would you use that for? That's sort of big. That's sort of big. What would you use that for? Maybe on a sign? Yeah, and then put their name over here. Little bows. Oh, these are T90. I've never tried that either. Little crosses. T90. Little. You see how little those are? But look at the detail on the inside. If you get those to pour, that would be cool. Here's more crosses. Yeah, I like crosses. I've never used those either. Wow. Okay, here's more crosses. They all have detail on the inside. These are very shallow butterflies. Uh, architectural detail stuff. Mixed media, maybe. There's some more. I'm sure there's a name for them. I don't know what it is. There's some more. Oh, wow. Well, I had these all organized in here. There's some more. These are firmer, harder molds. This is seashells. These are seahorses with little baby seahorses. Those are like. Okay. Put those back in there. Okay. 
Yeah, they're still coming, guys. Oh, I think I told y'all about that. I didn't know I had it, and I, I ordered a, another one. It's little flowers within a heart. <laughs> My daughter Ashley is trying to sneak through without making any noise, and she's making me laugh. <laughs> And then we got little bitty tiny. These are tiny, tiny. And you have to have one of those little things to squeeze it in. Yes, I'm real descriptive, aren't I? You have to have those little things to squeeze it in. I don't know what they're called. They start with a P. P ah, let me say it wrong. You know, the little plastic squeezer things. They're all one piece and I call them disposable because I only use them once and then I throw them away. But you know, you they suck it up and then you squeeze it. <laughs> you squeeze it back down. <laughs> okay. Here's another her bag. Oh, I think I've gone through this though. I think I have gone through this. I think I showed you these. I got this at a yard sale for a quarter. I think I showed you that. And a textured teddy. I think I showed you all these. Well, I know I did, but I don't know if they made it on the video or if it was cut, the frame. Okay, I'm gonna go through these real fast too. And the feathers. And yeah, I don't know. And some more of those. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a nice little bow. I've never used it, but they're cute little bows. It's a good mold. Cherry blossom. I've never used that one either. Hmm. This one I have used. That, and I called it a a, a wolf. I mean, a bear and a. <laughs> tiger but it's not that's like a wolf and that's a, a tiger and they're very shallow deer which would be good on mixed media to like doing a scene with uh on campus with the deer and then you could use those trees that i showed you earlier you could pour those and have those in the background and then you can make your water yeah, yeah there's so much you could do and the owls That's a really pretty bird. I've done that before. I made a necklace with that before. And then this is the textured butterfly. I think this is all on the first one. You know, where you put it polymer clay and you squeeze it together. You know, this is indented. So it might be where you could, you know, actually put UV resin in there and, and get I might have to try that so to see if you can use those like that. And there's the cat paw. I think I showed that to you yesterday. I've never used it. But it's a pretty mold. It's got a lot of detail. And then the other fairy door with the fairy. Okay, we're making headway. These I don't think I've showed you. This is the cactus. I think they're the same cactus, just two of them. This is different flowers, and that would be good for a border, or if you were going to make a, a hair clip or barrette, you could do half of it. You know, right there, and you could do the whole thing and then cut it in half or something. That's more flowers. Some little tiny bitty ones too. And that's another one of those texture things where you can push. And then here's a little 
I think this is a lotus flower that came off of Etsy. Okay, we have this one. Another big bag. And now remember, this is this is all my small ones. This is not my big ones. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen me do these. These are Timu. These are the angel ones. The guardian angel ones that I've made key rings. I like those molds. Those are Timu molds. I'm gonna pull them all up because I think there's four different ones. There's another one. And then there's another one. And they all, you can't see it, but right in here, it's got protect and save or, or guard and protect. I can't see it, but they all have something like that on each one of them. Yeah, and there's another one, and it says that right there. And I think that one says, never drive any faster than your angel can fly, is what this one says, I think. But they all have different quotes on them. Oh, that's that character. I don't remember. My daughter watches, and it's only black. The cat, black with B.O., funny eyes. Uh, I think I showed this in one of my videos, but I did it in blue. Yeah, that's t -Mim also. Oh, and here's another one of the guardian angels. And here's a flower. Is that a rose? I don't think that's a rose. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try this again with the 10 minute resin. <laughs> Uh, I've only done this once, and I mean, it's held together. I did it with UB resin, but I did it in layers, and it took forever. I mean, hours. To me, it's just not worth it having to spend that. Oh, my hand's camping. Can you see that? Yep, sticking straight up. Yep, that's not me doing it. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. Uh... It's that, and it and it folds to get you know it, it hooks together right there. Little easel stand. That's a Timu mold. It's real thin, but I think it would be really good with a ten minute frozen. Oh yeah, it's it's cramping. I need deep pickles. Yep, mushrooms. Those are cute. This is another, now this is real super thin, okay? But now with these super thin molds, uh, I would think you could incorporate these into your thicker resin pieces and they would, they would be good to have because they're so detailed. They are very detailed molds. They're just super thin. They're fondant molds is what they are. And uh, I used to do cakes. And you, with fondant, you, you want a really thin because you're, you're placing that fondant on the cake and you don't want a real thick piece of fondant on there. Fondant is not that great tasting. Uh, I, I spent uh, three years in Germany and... Uh, I took a Wilton cake course while I was over there. Actually, uh, the first and second cake course. Now, this was back in the 80s. And uh, I love doing cakes. Um, I don't do them much anymore, but uh, at one time, if I pulled it, I still have all the, uh, the cake bags and the tips, and, and I still have all of it. But it's been years since I've done anything like that. That came off of Etsy. It's a little cameo. I don't know if you can see that. And it's more crosses.
these are frogs. These are cute, funny frogs. Where'd that paper go? Can you see them? Those are cute. Oh, here's another one of those stands. These are cameos, I believe. Yeah, these are all cameos with different, these are flowers inside the cameo. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Can you see it better that way? Oh, maybe so. Maybe the light coming through, you can see it better. Yeah, you can. Okay, that's what's inside that cameo. Those came off of Etsy. All these, yeah. Now that's a cat. I'm gonna show, yeah, you can see it better with the light coming through. It's like one of those retro cats. That reminds me so much of Zion. But all these came off of Etsy and uh, they came from overseas. Um, and I'm not gonna remember. I'm thinking they were actually the the maker was actually from Ukraine. I got this a couple of years ago. Can you see that? It's like a leaf and and some floral. You can't see it that way at all. You can't see it if the light's not coming through. But yeah, there's another one. And these are all cameos where the design is indented and then you have the round. This is a flower. I'm gonna let the light go through so you can see the detail on there. That's really, really detailed down to the center. I don't know if y'all can see that good or not, but it's a very detailed mold. Yeah, it's better when the light is going through it, I think. Some of these are older. Yeah, I got a, a bunch of these cameos. That's a butterfly. One. I may pour these so you can see them. I don't know what that is. It's even hard for me to see. This is another floral one. I have one with a fairy in it. Is this the one with the butterfly? This is the one with the butterfly and the floral, I believe. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna pour those with that 10 minute resin to see the, and I'll show those on a video. Does that show up? No. It doesn't show up dark at all. Yeah, no, I can't tell what that is. That may be the fairy. That cat showed up so well in the light. This is a floral one. Yeah, so you can see that one. Oh, you can't see that one. But you can't. You cannot see that at all. I can't tell what that is. Maybe y'all can. My eyesight is not that great anymore. And then that. And the horseshoe. That just had detail inside of it. I've never poured that either. Another leaf. That one's a long one. Y'all have seen these. These are all the birds. I actually filled that up with polymer clay. And, uh, made little birds and put it, you know, these would be cool with the 10 minute resin. I may try these. I may do that today. 
but I'm getting my epoxy resin in today. I'm going to want to do that. Okay, here's another. This is an owl. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. That's a cameo with an owl. Yeah, that shows up better. It's just a plain round. It's pretty thick, though. And it was just a single mold. Here's another one of them, but bigger. This is pretty. Looks like I tried, but I didn't. I don't think I ever really poured it. That's that's a pretty mold right there. <laughs> this is one of the very I'm um, one of my very first videos on YouTube. It's a tree stump. And I did not know what these were. I think I called them a porcupine. <laughs> and uh, I think that it, they were groundhogs. I don't know. I don't remember now. But I know that I did not have those right. I called them something they weren't. And y'all let me know what they really were. This tree stump is really cute. Um. Oh. I've never poured this one either. God, I have so many molds that I've never poured. And I keep buying more. Let me try. Let me put it on this and see if you can see it. Better. That way you can. Okay. I have no, oh, whoa, that's thin, thin. But you know, it would be good. You could use this inside of, and you know what? I just came up with an idea. This is how my brain works. It's like a light bulb just came inside my head. Would it not be so cute? As thin as that is, you know, I have all those coaster molds, which you've not seen any of my bigger molds, okay? I have every kind of coaster mold, every kind. That's coming later. If you have a coaster mold, do you know when those 3.84 or 4 inch coaster molds? You can make a little scene inside that coaster mold with these little things. You could you could make one of those trees that I showed, the pine trees, and have that there. You could have the little fairy door. You could have the deer in with it. You could have like a little string. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff I love doing. The stuff that you don't, you know, that you don't have the mold. You take molds and you piece it together to create your own art. That's what I like doing. That's how my brain works. That would be so cool. And I'm going to have to try that. This is the last one out of that one bag. And these are cool. This is a Timu mold. I'm going to hold it up. And I used the casting powder on this, but I've never used resin, but those would be gorgeous in resin. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I can see those in like the mother of pearl, white glistening uh, resin and, and having those put uh, in a planter outside where the sun could shine. Yeah, that, that would just be gorgeous. And the detail. I don't know if you can see, you see the detail? There, Ah, oh, really, really detailed. This is a good mold. Okay. Woo wee! I think we're down to the last bag. See, this is empty. One more bag to go. It's a small stuff. Well, small stuff. I have now. I've got more coming in. Okay. This is all, I think this is all jewelry stuff. I think all of this is jewelry uh, molds, but I could be wrong. But we're gonna go through this real quick. That's a good staple mold to have if you like making jewelry. Did you see these right here? You know, most people buy those. Um, they're accent pieces. Oh, my hand is cramping. Um, they're accent pieces. And you can make your own.
That's a good amount to have. There's another one. I can't see if I got it up there right. Here's another one. falling off the table. There's another one. Here's little frames to make like pendants and stuff. Wow, these would be big earrings. I mean, here's my hand, okay? That shows you how big those things are. They're big. Oh, those are cute. No, I've not poured any of those. I'm put, okay. Why did that grid just show up on my video? There's a grid on my video screen. Why is that there? It just popped up there. That's weird. That's weirdness. Hope it doesn't show up in my video. Y'all, if it does, I'm sorry. I did not I did not touch my camera. And all of a sudden, I've got all these lines going across. I hope that's not in my video. I hope I don't have to stop this video again. These I've not ever opened. These are the pen molds. I cannot figure out how you use these things. It came with the pens, too. But it didn't make any sense to me. If you poured these, how would you get the pen in there? See, I don't understand how you would get the pen in because there's no hole. It would be solid. So how would you get the ink pen in there? That was my question. So I never poured those. Yes, these came off of Timu. But I could never figure out how you could use them as a pen. So, I still don't know. I don't know where that green came from, but that's weird. I'm just sitting here and all of a sudden it pops up on my screen. There's another one of those pen molds. And I've never used these either. And I got a bunch of them. I do. I'm going to get them all and show them to you. I'm thinking maybe they're, they're supposed to be for like little crystals maybe. I'm not sure, but I got a bunch of them. See, and they're all, let me see if I can get them in my hand or you can see them all together flat. Is that what those are? They're for like little crystals? I'm not sure. And then I've got, oh, this is the little cat one with the cat paws. And I've never used, oh, this is another one of those. That might be going in the mystery box too. This is another one of those Zodiac uh, molds. And this is another bead fairly good size and then that's just a plain 
That would be a good key ring and you could put anything you wanted to. You know what would be cute? Where's the fairy door? Let's see if it fits. Oh, and it does. See as thin as this is? And you've got this and it's deep enough? You pour that and then put that right there and make a fairy door key ring. See, that would be cute. Okay. And then I know I shared the, these with you, the cheap little things. I wouldn't buy them. The cat and the man, they're just not good molds. The one off of Amazon was better than the one off of Timu. I will say that. But the ones on Timu, they're so shallow. They're not good. I would not waste my money on them. And then I got a bunch of... Oh, these were just little round circle earrings. And then I got a bunch of these. Now, uh, and these are from Timu. What you need to know is... There's certain sellers that sell these individually, and then there's certain sellers that sell these as a group. Look for the ones that sell as the group. They sell out faster, but they're a lot cheaper buying them all together than individually. Those right there. You can buy them all together, but you will find them where people are selling them individually. Is that it? Is that all of my small molds? No. Sorry. I got another bag. I'm trying to keep this underneath an hour. I'm at 57 minutes. So <laughs> I'm going to try to hurry. These are small letters. These are numbers and letters. Are they the same kind? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, these are buttons. I like buttons. I got glitter in these buttons. But that's some more buttons. And this is just some different basic shapes. I'm going to go through these real fast because they're all just basic shapes. Yes, and I got every one that Timu had. Every shape I have. And that's, that's what all these are. Okay, guys, that is it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. If I can hurry up and not run my mouth too much, then I can get this underneath an hour. Ah, this is it for the small ones. Um, it's probably another two videos for the large ones, which I will uh, try to do tomorrow. But, you know, my epoxy resin's coming in today, and you know I'm going to want to try that. So, and, and, of course, you know I'm going to be doing a video when I try that. And so, I'm not sure uh, what the next video is going to be, it, but it's either going to be a haul video or me doing some sort of resin. That I do know. I want to thank y'all for coming and watching me again. I want to thank you so much for subscribing. Y'all have just blown me away uh, with that, and, and I am very much appreciative of that. And, and very thankful and very grateful. If you've not subscribed, you can do so by finding the funny looking cat. It's on the bottom right corner of your screen. If you take your mouse and, and hover over it, the subscribe button will pop up. And um, if you like it, please hit that thumbs up button. That's the best thing you can do for any YouTuber. It, it helps us get in the algorithm better. And if you like it enough to share it, that little old fashioned, looks like a paper plane that we used to make when we were kids symbol. If you click that, it will, um, share it to, to other people. And if you want to know when I have a new video out, you can hit the, the notification bell and it will, uh, YouTube will send you a notification and let you know uh, 
when the new one is out. Um, I, I want to thank you again for all my subscribers that have come back. Thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. And for the ones that are new and this is the first time you have seen my video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back and I hope you subscribe. And please, as always, leave those comments. I love those comments. Sometimes I'm able to, to leave long, lengthy comments back to you because, you know, I'm a yapper. I love to talk. But sometimes if I'm busy, I will always leave a heart or a thumbs up or something to acknowledge you to acknowledge to you that I have read your comments and they mean a lot to me so please keep those coming I hope your day is filled with so many joys and so many blessings and I will see you again tomorrow thank you bye bye